An intense rescue effort is underway in Haiti after the island nation was hit by a 7.2 magnitude earthquake over the weekend. Here in New York, all NYPD precincts are collecting donations. They're asking for medical supplies, personal hygiene items, non-perishable food, bottled water, and clothing. CBS 2's Vladimir Dutier is in Port-au-Prince with the very latest. It is a state of emergency here. A nation crushed under the weight of yet another natural disaster. Hospitals are overwhelmed by incoming patients as rescue workers search for survivors under mounds of concrete and debris. In the destruction, there are brief moments of hope, like this woman and a young boy being rescued from the rubble of a toppled building. The epicenter of the 7.2 magnitude quake is about 80 miles west of the capital, Port-au-Prince. The coastal town of Lekai was one of the hardest hit and its hospital is at capacity. A private plane is flying patients to Port-au-Prince. It's a striking blow for a country that still hasn't fully recovered from a series of natural disasters. A devastating earthquake hit in 2010, where an estimated 300,000 were killed. I spent nearly a month reporting from Haiti immediately after and witnessed the horror that Haitians faced. We need more people down here. In 2016, we came back after Hurricane Matthew leveled towns along the coast. We understand the dire situation we are in, but the most important thing is we will come out of it. Brushit Edmond is Haiti's ambassador to the U.S. He says the rebuilding effort will be an arduous one, especially after the assassination of Haiti's president, Jovenel Moïse, last month led to even more instability. But he says Haiti's interim government needs to step up and rebuild a stronger nation. We cannot avoid any earthquake, but at least when the earthquake comes, there will be better resistance of those buildings and every other infrastructure. So they won't collapse like a house of cards. There is another saying in Haiti, and it's emblazoned on the national flag, and it embodies what Haiti has stood for since it became the first black independent nation in the Western Hemisphere. L'union fait la force. In union, there is strength. And Haitians will need that strength more than ever in the days and weeks ahead as Tropical Storm Grace threatens to bring mudslides and also to complicate relief efforts. Vladimir Dutit, CBS News, Port-au-Prince, Haiti.